Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to make a basic logo. So what I'm going to have you do is first click on Fireworks file to create a new document. The size for this is going to be 400 by 400 pixels and leave the color as white. That's totally fine. So we'll click on OK. Okay, uh, so yours probably is going to not have a grid on it when you first uh, open this up. Uh, so we're going to go to File, Save As, and find your folder that you have your file saved in. I'm just going to put mine on the desktop and call it New Logo, and then you can hit Save. Okay, uh, so the first thing I'm going to set up here is uh, I'm going to put a grid on here so I can line things up a little bit better. So uh, you're going to go to View, Grid, uh, we're going to go to Edit Grid. A couple things we're going to do here. The first is to change the size. So we're going to go to 24 by 24. We're going to show the grid. And then the other thing is uh, we need to uh, give it a color. So I'm going to pick a really light yellow that I can still see and then click on OK. So it gives me a really pale yellow. Uh, if I'm not totally happy with that, I can go back in and just make it a little bit darker so it's easier to see. OK. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need these uh, rulers here. Uh, so the way you're going to do that is go to View, Rulers, and uh, they'll appear on the side. What we're going to do here is we're going to drag a couple guides from the rulers. So uh, drag from the top for this one, drag from the left, and try and get them to cross as close to the center uh, of your document as possible. I think maybe I'll move this one to the left. Uh, and just so that they cross at one of those uh, guidelines. Okay. And of course, any of this you can uh, change to whatever color you want. So I'm going to go to View, uh, Guides, and I'm just going to lock them uh, so now they can't be moved around. Okay, now we're ready to start designing our logo. So uh, what I'll have you do is pick the Ellipse tool. If you don't know where to get to that, uh, go to the rectangle, hold the button down, and go to Ellipse. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, design a pizza. Uh, so that is going to be the logo that we're going to try to uh, replicate. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to need for that is a circle. Uh, so we're going to click on uh, this. We're going to leave it as uh, maybe uh, find a, a brown color that might be our, our crust color. I'll, uh, I'll pick this one here. And what you're going to draw is a circle, but we're going to draw it from the center out. So you're going to have to hold down two buttons, Shift and Alt, or Option on a Mac, and then you're going to click and drag one, two, three lines distance from the middle. Uh, and then that's what we'll have. So this is the uh, exterior of the logo that we're going to have on here. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, take this shape and we're going to duplicate it uh, so that it will be the uh, interior of the pizza. Uh, so click on it to make sure that it's selected. You're going to go to the edit menu and pick clone. Now if you look at your uh, layers here, uh, you have two objects and they're absolutely identical. So clone duplicates it and then puts it right on top of itself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scale this down a little bit. Uh, so uh, make sure that you've got the top one selected. Next thing, we're going to change the color to red. And then we're going to scale it down. So go to Modify, Transform. We're going to go to a numeric transform. And in this, uh, three options here, scale, resize, and rotate. So we're going to go to scale. And uh, what we're going to do is we probably want this at about 80% of the original size. So click on OK. Uh, and it's going to do basically this. It's going to shrink and then move inside. Uh, so 
next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut the pizza. So we're going to make some uh, slices here. So you're going to need the line tool. Uh, get the color to be black. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click from the edge of the pizza at the top, uh, maybe a little bit outside. So we'll, we'll go about one line's difference. And you're going to draw a line that goes right through. So uh, what I want you to do is hold shift on the keyboard. And then it's going to go right through the middle like that. Uh, so if, if we want to see this without all of these lines, you can click on preview. Uh, so basically we have this line going right through the middle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, three more copies of this uh, and we're going to rotate them. So use the pointer and make sure that the line is selected. You're going to go to edit, clone like we did before. We're going to go modify, transform and do a numeric and uh, instead of a scale this time though we're going to rotate it and 45 degrees so it's going to spin it at the side uh, so we'll get this design uh, so we're going to do that two more times so edit clone uh, modify transform numeric uh, 45 and then one more time edit clone modify transform numeric and 45 so if we want to take a look we'll click on preview and this is what we have so far so we've got our pizza but it's kind of sloppy we we did this on purpose uh, the lines here extend a little bit outside of the actual uh, shape of the pizza so we're gonna fix that up so go back to original and uh, click on the first line and what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool here called the knife. And here's what it does. We're going to click and drag. And we're going to cut uh, the line where it meets the side of the pizza. Do the same thing at the bottom. So now what I can do is I can click on the outsides that I don't need. Preview. And you can see that's a lot better. Uh, so you're going to need to do that to the rest of the lines. So click on them, use the knife tool to cut sort of where the line intersects which, with the edge of the pizza. You don't have to be exactly uh, sort of tangent to the uh, arc of the pizza. So click here, cut, cut. delete these and then we've got this one on the side okay so we preview and this is what we should have so we've got the, the round shape and then it is uh, cut through the middle like this so go back to the original and what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, live effects on these. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on the outside shape, uh, which is the, um, the crust. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it uh, a little bit of a 3D effect. Uh, so you're going to go to the effects down here, click on the plus, and there's a whole bunch of options that show up here. We're going to go to uh, Bevel and Emboss, and the one we're going to go to is Inner Bevel. So this is maybe a little bit dramatic, uh, given that it's a pizza. So uh, there's a few options here. Uh, flat is what it's at right now, but I don't want it to take the sharp edge. I want it to taper off, so I'm going to go to Smooth instead. Uh, and the rest of the presets here are pretty decent. I'm happy with that. So I'll preview. Uh, so now it, it kind of looks like it's a, a 3D shape. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, another shape in behind it uh, just to kind of finish off our logo. Uh, so for this one, uh, we're going to click on the circle. You can hold down the button. 
and uh, we're going to take the polygon tool. So click on that. So there's a couple options that it gives you down here. Uh, one, uh, it gives you a, an option of sides. So I'm going to pick four. Uh, and I'm going to switch it from polygon to star because a four-sided polygon is just a rectangle, so that's not interesting. Uh, and with this one, I'm going to go from the middle. Uh, so holding Alt and Shift, uh, it'll go out from the middle, and it'll kind of have this. Well, it's pretty much lined up with the uh, the other shape here. So now that I've got it created. Uh, I'm going to use the pointer and I'm going to switch the color here uh, and give it something uh, maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh, so instead of solid, I'm going to go to gradient and I'm going to pick, well, you can pick anything that you like here actually. Uh, I'm going to try the rectangle. Second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the colors here. Uh, all I need to do is change the bright color with. Uh, Maybe I'll go with a nice blue here. Okay, and now this doesn't really show that it's a pizza anymore, so I'm going to use the layers panel to put that path on the very bottom. Um, okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of an effect, so you can click on it, uh, go to effects. And two things that we're going to do here. Uh, the first is we're going to bevel and emboss and we're going to give it an inner bevel and this one I'm, I'm comfortable with uh, the little bit more angular look to this that's fine so I'm gonna go here next thing we're going to add is a shadow so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to shadow and glow and we're going to give it a drop shadow so we'll click on that and the presets here are fine for me so if we preview uh, we get this pizza shape with uh, a little bit of an effect here uh, over top of a bit of a four pointed star shape. Uh, so this is um, basically a very simple logo that you can create uh, using a lot of the tools in Fireworks. So going back to the original, a uh, few things we'll do here. Uh, I'm going to remove the grid. I'm going to remove the guides uh, and then Two things to finish this off, uh, use the pointer, click in the background area, and you're going to switch the canvas color to transparent. And it's going to look like this big checkerboard thing. Uh, this means that if I put this picture into a website, we'll get to see the background behind this. Otherwise, it'll be a giant white square. Next thing we're going to do, modify, uh, go to the canvas menu and go to trim canvas. And it's going to get rid of any of the space around this that we don't need. Uh, so you can save this and uh, then you can move on to your next project because this logo is finished.